Good morning. My name is Rebel and I'm the Rebel Reseller. And today I'm going to be doing my Watts Sold for last week, which will be Monday through Thursday, February 6th through the 9th. eBay is eBay. It makes sense now that we all know that they made some changes um, in just like the listing screens and everything on why our sales have just been kind of dragging. But for those of you who use this perfectly for cross-listing, I they are having major issues with, you know, the, the changes that eBay made. You know, I think they're getting it figured out. I haven't been able to use it yet, so I don't know. Don't know, but as always, got to have patience. I'm still glad that eBay's making all of these changes, not in fourth quarter. You know, I'll, I'll just, I'll deal with the slow sales. But I have some decent ones. A lot of bread and butter, though. A lot of bread and butter. But before we get started, I did want to bring up one topic, which is um, I got a message saying that for some reason, while they're listing, they can't pull up priority flat rate envelope to as a shipping op option. And it dawned on me that I, I don't list that way. So I'm going to share with you how I list. When I list like clothes that I know I'm going to mail in a flat rate bubble mailer. And I guess if any, or you know, the, the cardboard one also. But I do flat rate shipping. So when I list it, I just make it priority. I'm going to choose how which priority method I'm going to ship it. A lot of times it is one of the um, padded flat rate envelopes or the flat rate envelope. But sometimes it's even cheaper for somebody really close to me to ship just in a Tyvek or a box or whatever. So I charge a flat rate of $8.99 if I know at some point I'm going to ship it um, flat rate. Um, but if it's going to be over a pound and not close, then I do calculated shipping. But I still pick priority and then I choose which priority method I'm going to choose by just leaving it as priority. Um, I'm not sure if it was just a glitch for her that she couldn't find padded flat rate envelope or flat rate envelope. I'm not, I don't remember which one, but you know, you don't have to list the specific priority method that you're planning on shipping. Just keep it general. So hope that makes sense, but let's go ahead and get started. I had sales on Mercari, Poshmark, and eBay. Oh, before I even start that, y'all, I decided I was going to give Bonanza one more chance. So I went ahead and turned it back on. I guess I had set it on vacation mode. So I hadn't canceled my account. Opened it back up the other day. I just happened to go in and look to make sure everything looks all right because I, I hadn't made a sale. I barely make any sales on there. Anyway, I had so many policy violations and a lot of them stemmed from the um, pharmaceutical plush that I have been selling on eBay for over a year, getting close to two years. Um, just, they were just all kinds of them. And I thought, no, I am not messing with this. So I actually canceled my account. So, you know, if, if you're getting into that type of items, be careful because you can't control which of your items are being transferred from eBay to Bonanza. Um, and I just didn't think it was worth it. Just wasn't worth it. All right, now we'll really get started. All right, Mercari first. Um, it was slow on these platforms. Slow, slow, slow. This is a Papel coffee cup mug. It says, I'm in great shape. It's actually all warped. It's kind of a funny misshaped cup. I got an offer of $7 for it. I just went ahead and accepted it. Oop. This was an act, probably might be my best sell of the entire four day time period. These were incomplete Lego Bionicles. I can't remember where I picked them up. I'm not sure if they were in that, um, all of those Legos that I bought when we went up to Cincinnati at Savers and I've been selling. In fact, I'll have some more, a ton of the minifigures, but they sold on, um, Mercari, again, for an offer of $41. Poshmark, Clark's, love that brand. We sell a ton of it. 
a lot of it is, you know, 15, 20, 25 dollars. These were some black slip-on wedges sold for 21 dollars. Hearth Song Brown Chihuahua Dog, six inch, very cute. I hadn't found that brand before. $20 on Poshmark. These, I've had these listed for a long time. I picked them up at an estate sale. I want to say I only paid a dollar each, but I picked up two of them. No, I picked up three. I've sold one in the past sometime. And then I cross-listed this to Poshmark, and it sold very quickly. $26 for a hand-cut desk accessory or ashtray. And this is Circo, which is a Target brand. Elephant Plush, 17-inch, sold for $14. And now eBay. Snuggle Bears. I pick up all Snuggle Bears. Most of them are bread and butter. I think some of the larger ones do better. Um, but I actually had two of these, and they have both sold very recently. This one is 7.5 inch. It's just one of the beans. It sold for $9.15. Knickerbocker, I love that brand. Maybe I need to check into that as far as a brand video. These are called Animals of Distinction. This was just a little seven inch. Koala Bear, it sold for best offer of $15. Russ, of course, stuff for Valentine's was still selling last week. This was just a cute little frog couple. Says together forever. It sold for $23.70. This. I sold this Mr. Coffee Mrs. T teapot set. The whole thing. And it got damaged. And I did have them return it to me because I wanted to go ahead and sell the pieces and parts off of it that I could to recoup some of my money. But when I got it back, almost every single piece was broken, except this lid and like the little plastic pot that go, you know, the brew pot or whatever you want to call. But every single piece on that pot was broken. I don't know what the post office did. But I listed this and sold it very quickly. This is just the ceramic lid to the little teapot. $15.59. Boonton Ware Turquoise Creamer. These are like melamine, melamine plastic. Um, I bought like a, a box of just a bunch of that type, and then I just decided certain pieces I was going to list by itself. I think I've already sold like the, some of the cups and saucers to it, but this part sold for $11.91. Levi's. Y'all, I truly believe if you list certain categories, all of a sudden you start selling in those categories because I've decided like every day or so, I list just a couple of listings of jeans or the clothing items that Robert has already processed. And then I, I kind of see an uptick in some of the stuff that we're selling. These were some Levi's men's jeans, carpenter size, um, 40 by 32, sold for $18.11. Now, most of these, we pay probably a dollar, maybe two dollars for them. This, we picked up, and I've got two more complete sets. Um, one of these juice masticating sets. This was new in the box, but I parted it out. Um, this was just the, um, like, little measuring jar thingy. It sold for $9.15. I've sold several pieces out of it already. Hasbro Sesame Street Abby Cadabby from 2013 sold for $9.15. Carter's Loveys. I tell you guys all the time, I pick up all Loveys, most of them, $8 to $12 that I sell them for. This one sold for $11.91. It sold very quickly. Bu uh, puzzle. Buffalo Kim Norlin Puzzle. When I bought this, the box seemed sealed. But I went ahead and opened it up. I think pieces and parts of it. I think it was one of those ones that have like the round and it kind of was pulled up. So a lot of times if I have even an inkling of doubt that something could have been opened and then just kind of fixed to not look open, I open them and I show a picture that the 
um, bag of the puzzle pieces was still sealed. Most puzzles, y'all, sell for about 8 to $10, sealed or not sealed. We do puzzles. We like to, to do puzzles. We always have one going, and then I just sell them. So it's not something that I intentionally would buy um, straight out if you're not planning on putting them together. There's just, if it says it's a thousand piece puzzle, there could be a thousand twenty. It's just a general number. So counting the pieces is not a wise idea um, to think that it might be complete. Don't do it. Either put it together or don't get them. It, this one's still only $9.95. This is another one of the Folk Manus puppets that I picked up at a recent estate sale. Everything, I think the larger puzzles like the, I think the larger puppets like this one was like a dollar or two and then the mini finger puppets were 50 cents. This one sold for $15.59. Now this might be a viewer sale. I'm thinking Kathy bought this, but I could be wrong. But if I'm wrong, I'm gonna just sit thank Kathy for all the support she gives when she goes in and shops in the store anyway. Christmas, still selling it. I do not hold seasonal items. I list it as I get it um, because it sells all year long. I collect the little, the miniature Fi Hallmark Fisher Price ornaments. I have many of them, but they keep coming out with more and there's some that I don't see very often that I'm still on the look for. So I'm, I always go in every once in a while and just look and see if anybody's got one listed. Hopefully cheap, cheaper than <laughs> when it is at Christmas time. And, you know, I may add to my collection. I think that happens a lot of times with, you know, you just remember, oh, I need to look for this. And it, it might be on there and then I would buy it. Best Made Toys. I like that brand. I really do. It's like Kelly Toy, that kind of um, condition. Um, this was just a cute little lamb with gray hooves, $22.95. Hug Fun. It's another one that I think is comparable to Kelly Toy. This one um, was a mint green bunny rabbit. It was also from Walmart. The tag had a Walmart little code on it. $14.95. Russ Toodles, the White Bear. It was one of the Rattle Plush. It sold for $24.79. Definitely watch, especially if it's a baby toy with a rattle. And like Russ, Dakin, any of them. Eden, check the comps. Animal Adventure. This one's from 2019. I just used blue and purple because those were the major colors in it. Um, sold for $9.15. I'm good with that. Dakin, love that brand. Tan Bear Plush from 1979. This one sold for $21.80. It did have some discoloration on the legs. I still list it. Take good pictures of it. Make sure you put it in, in your description. I think I picked this up at one at a Ben's challenge for Bolo Buddies. Um, probably this last one. I think I used it in her video. Um, this was just a sports bag for the Harlem Wizards, eighteen dollars and thirty-five cents. Tie Pluffies. I see lots of posts still on ties. I think people get so excited when they find one and their first comp when they look it up under solds is 5,000, 10,000. But y'all, for the most part, those are not legitimate sales. Um, I'll have Robert, again, put down in the link or down in the description, the link to the video that I did on how you can determine if a tie sold comp is legitimate. Most of them are not worth picking them up even for a quarter. They're just not. But Pluffies is a different story. I love this series of plush. Some of them are bread and butter, but then sometimes you find something like this. This is the brown dog. He's from 2003. Does not have his ear tag or anything. Still sold for $28.79. 
Spark Create Imagine. I picked them all up. The prices seem to have come down a little bit, but this was just a small five and a half inch plush with a rattle inside of it. Looked like an ice cream, $9.15. This did not have, um, I couldn't read the manufacturer on the tag, so I did not know. I just thought it was adorable. Just use as many keywords as you possibly can. I used a tan pig plush, six inch tartan plaid vest, anything like that. I don't think, well, it's probably been listed based on my pictures, maybe six to eight months, and it sold $13.75. All right, this is um, FedEx Advertising Orange Bowl Bear Plush. Kind of looks like um, ties. I think this, I don't even know, I think it was just a like a collegiate type thing. Still, it sold for $14.95. We just picked these up recently at the estate sale where I found those Tomy fashion plates. Just That was such a great find. Um, this, I think we paid 50 cents maybe for cassette tapes. I picked up three. It sold immediately almost for $12.95. Now, a lot of times if the case doesn't look great, um, I just, I put acceptable as my condition. I don't want somebody coming in and said, well, you said this was in excellent condition and it's not. I just list them in acceptable condition. You know, on there I said the case, the outer case had some wear, discoloration, scratches. But the thing about this is I, make mine look different. You know, a lot of times I'll take the tape out of the cassette, I mean out of the case, and pose it like this. Everybody else seems to have stock photos or it's just the front of the cassette case, um, and mine stands out and mine sold. Just thoughts on how you do stuff. Animal Adventure, I've, I've sold like the white one here very recently. Here's the tan one. I pick these up all the time. They come in different colors, but they are Animal Adventure, 8 inch. This one sold for $9.15. Now this is just one of those instances. I had nothing um, that I could compare this to, so I threw a price $24.95 on it. It was cute, obviously vintage, had these um, like plastic eyelashes and um, yeah, around the, the plastic eye. Very different, but somebody came in with, I felt like a decent offer, and I accepted $15. Francoma, I thought I had sold all of, it, all of that, but when I went to pull this, I actually have one more piece. We did so well with this find. Robert went back to an estate sale that was a fill a box for $5, and he picked up two boxes filled with this Francoma um, pottery, and this piece, which was just a plain old rectangular platter, $27.55. Five Nights at Freddy's. This is Bonnie. She is different than the one that I sold on Poshmark. That was an amazing sell. But this one's from 2017. It did have some condition issues on the, the eyes. The paint was um, had been rubbed off. $22.95. This, this has probably been listed, you know, six years, eight years. Um, but it was huge. And at one point I used to have like these tables where there's no room for tables here anymore out there by my garage doors. And I would use it to list large things on them or I would spread stuff out if I had lots, but those days are gone. On, but it was large, 43 inch plush, um, Hug and Love is the brand, $30.31. Lego minifigures. I think almost every one of my Watts sold, I'm still selling these, and I have quite a bit left. These six figures, they were like policemen, sold for $32.15. And then my best sell on eBay, a pair of jeans. These are Levi's. 15921 jeans. They were black and they had the orange tab. 
they sold for $40 best offer. As you can tell, it was mostly my bread and butter stuff, you know, with some $20 sales thrown in. But I think that's the, the just a great strategy. Provide reasonably priced items so that your buyers have a variety. Yes, we're going to have the ones that come in and want to spend $200 on something, but a lot of times people are just looking for something small, inexpensive to go ahead and, you know, purchase for a child as a gift or, you know, for a special occasion or just because they collect them and they want something. So I want to keep doing what I'm doing, listing tons of plush, a lot of it in my bread and butter range, and, you know, work towards fourth quarter. I say that all the time. Fourth quarter is, you know, where I do my best sales. So, all right. Bye.